hello everyone in this video today let's cover your work situation real quick um because i'm trying to like do all these requests to to finish all the requests that i have about 50 questions and um this video will probably be shorter anyway this is about your career right now your work job career what's happening i'm just gonna have a look at current situation challenges and advice what to do what not to do and i'm not gonna ask for outcome because i've noticed that you don't want to know the outcome you want to know only the empowering part basically because the outcome if we get to know sometimes it doesn't empower us so um if you'd like to participate please think about your work situation and i'm gonna ask about you know situation problem advice what to do what not to do what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. Also, advice uh, on how to deal with your boss. Okay, what to say, what not to say, basically. Um, if you don't have a boss, um, it can be your, I don't know, someone who pays you, or it can be your client. If you're the boss, for example, you can imagine, you can change that question, you can ask advice when working with clients. So, if you'd like to participate, please think about your work and choose a deck and take your time, please. Okay, so let's start with our deck number one. Yukioe Tarot deck, Japanese traditional art. What is the situation at your work? At work, page of pentacles. Well, this card usually talks about, you know, uh, there is money, there is some sort of income, you're pretty happy with the income and it might be an interesting work that you're interested in and you might be interested in researching in that and it kind of keeps your focus and things are okay. But on a smaller side, it's still the page of pentacles. So it can say that the money is there, but it's on the smaller side. It's not like millions. It can be a little bit of happiness is there. What is the biggest problem? Challenge. We have the king of wands. Well, the king of wands can represent your own uh, level of mastery in this profession, in this work, and how you are happy with how you do things. In some cases, it can talk about your, let's say, some sort of boss and like a strict person. Let's say a person who want, who who you want to uh, to be liked by, or um, you want their approval. Yeah, with the five of pentacles, could be that stress is there slightly. There's a stressful kind of experience. And uh, it can be because of your boss, what they're saying, or of your own wish to be better at this work. What's the advice? The star is to have a hope and give it time. Let yourself um, visualize the outcome, how you want your work to be, how, how you want to do, how you want it to be, like, what would you like here? So that sort of situation. What... Uh, what you're doing right at your work career you know five of swords this can be you uh, good at beating up your clients uh, competitors sorry you're good at being mean when you have to be mean you know you're good at let's say sometimes being tough when you need to be tough uh, it can be you're good at dealing with criticism. It doesn't bother you. Uh, you are strong enough to handle it, let's say. It bothers you, but you're strong enough to handle it. What are you doing wrong? Five of Pentacles. Maybe undervalue yourself or charge your efforts with less than you deserve. You know, maybe um, you agree to work for less, you know. That sort of element is here. Maybe... Poverty uh, beliefs are there, patterns, some sort of poverty thinking patterns, you know, and um, yeah, that sort of situation. 
can be low self-esteem at times, feeling bad about yourself. So it all comes down to the visualization and um, what, hope and um, letting it, giving it time while visualizing your perfect, perfect outcome in this situation. Okay, so, so that sort of situation. Now let's have a look at your boss advice when dealing with boss. If you have a boss. And we have the Eight of Swords. Well, with Eight of Swords, it can say that there's nothing much you can do when it comes to your boss. It's better to just listen and say yes and stay like stay low, lay low, and let them restrict your thoughts. It, it says don't express your thoughts, you know, because Eight of Swords is restrictions. So it might not encourage for you to just like say everything you think. It might advise you to just... Keep it to yourself, some of the things, you know. And accept that, yeah, this is kind of bondage. This is kind of my role, and I have to um, act this role right now. But you can be free when you leave, when you go home, for example. Okay, what is the advice for you when dealing with colleagues, if there are colleagues? The emperor... Well, again, uh, very uh, stable. You have to be very stable, very uh, like uh, competent, uh, very grounded, and uh, very wise. And not emotional, pretty rational. Just to be very grounded, be very normal, and do the right thing. You know, don't share too much about your your personal self. Um, can be showing example, leading people, protecting people, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe you can play the role of the emperor. Maybe people look up to you. Okay, and what is advice if you have your clients? Advice for your clients. We have days of pentacles. Well, with, with the clients, it could be uh, communication, more communicating with your clients and uh, in, investing somehow in, in, in the clients in a way that, you know, maybe some sort of um, where you meet them, it should look nice and um, presentation should be nice and maybe some sort of notifications, messages, uh, correspondence, newsletters, some sort of gifts to clients should be there and um, put some more money into them okay so that sort of situation what is the next good thing that will happen at your work we have the eight of wands which is lots of calls lots of calls and smoothness everything will go smooth and you will uh, achieve easily what you want to achieve with this card And uh, how can you get to where you want to be in this work? That ultimate success. Ten of Wands, um, taking up more work, working more hours, and putting more work on yourself and taking more responsibilities. It could be, for example, taking up more clients or uh, doing more shifts or hours or something. So basically working harder. And let's pull one more card, which is Law of Attraction card. What is the advice here? I inhibit no one. We each create our own reality. So, um, yeah, as you find vibrational harmony with your desires, you are never inhibiting or preventing anyone else from living what they are creating. But you are controlling and creating your own reality. So this card comes when... You're feeling very conscious about other people. What will they think of you? If you get succeed, if you succeed, what will they think of you? Will you not leave them behind? What if they are jealous? And you kind of feel responsible if they are jealous, and you feel uh, afraid to do what you want because you are always thinking about other people. So I think this card is saying that you have the right to be um, selfish and create your own. Focus on basically what you want uh, minus all the other people and what they think and what will happen. 
because you cannot create their life and influence their situation. So it's just sticking to your own what you want and completely not worrying about them because they also have their own guidance, their own intuition and their own connection with the divine and maybe they do readings and you know they already led basically. It's not your responsibility to save everyone and protect everyone, that sort of situation. So this was our reading number one. I wish you best of luck and let's move on to our deck number two. Okay, so let's move on to our deck number two, Spanish tarot deck. We're reading about your work. Okay, situation at work, new things started, new projects are starting. Maybe you have a new idea, a new business idea, and there is this energy of some sort of like fresh beginnings and like excitement. You know, lots of action and really something where you're very alert and want to succeed. What's the main problem right now? What's the biggest challenge? Can be financial challenge. How will you manage things financially? You know, how will you manage the process? How smooth will it be? And how will you be able to stick to the goal? You know, with the three of wands and and these all practical you know nuances and, and things like that it can be maybe you're expecting for some investment or support financial from someone what is um, the advice for you at your work right now well, three of uh, pentacles use your skills uh, believe that you're good at what you do and can be also um, gain more skills in doing this work. Um, it can kind of encourage you saying that, you know, you have the right things, you know exactly what you need and you should use it. The skill level also can be team is important here and you should involve more people and not afraid of having a team and kind of coordinate that team what is the right thing that you're doing at your work right now emperor well it can be leadership it can be um being uh, like a, a good manager or something it can be um being this classical um rational person who is focusing on the structure and stability financial of this business of this company what you're doing wrong what you're doing wrong, Ten of uh, Cups. Well, Ten of Cups can indicate uh, maybe you're taking too many holidays with your family, you know, maybe you're too happy in it, which makes you not want to uh, achieve more things. So this card um, can say that, let's say your happiness and satisfaction, what you have might protect you from pursuing your goals and risking and, and trying new avenues and, and things like that also it can be something to do with countries and people and some sort of like um public let's say something that some decisions that you do with public so i don't know exactly what these are okay what is advice when dealing with your boss we have the nine of swords so we have lots of like thought going in it, lots of worry. So maybe you should just really uh, solve some problem that is there with the boss. Maybe you don't agree with boss on some matters and it makes you really upset. Maybe there is some sort of mm, not trusting your boss and things like that. But uh, the cards are saying it's better not to fight with the boss, better keep peace, better be neutral a little bit, be being like, don't say anything, don't challenge it. At this time, it's better to kind of just leave it alone. Um, what is advice when dealing with your colleagues? Well, with the colleagues, it's important to communicate openly what you think and to be brave when 
dealing with them but at the same time you can say that you will not achieve what you want to achieve with your colleagues uh, some sort of like a harmony and friendship and love so there is like don't have too big expectations when it comes to them yeah maybe there are even no colleagues because ten of swords we have like ended with them don't worry about them don't think about them that sort of thing now looking at uh, how to deal with your clients if you have clients what's the advice Again, we have uh, pentacles have to be very like uh, marketing and everything beautiful and invest money in their clients and make it look very beautiful for them and uh, can talk about direct some sort of um, contact and uh, earning from your clients, make them come and pay and buy or something like that. So you have to be, again, very professional with your clients and very pleasant and things like that. So that sort of situation um it could be like you are not uh, using all your potential with clients and uh you could do more risk taking and more stuff with your clients okay next let's have a look at next good thing that will happen at work Two of uh, Cups will actually talk about a pleasant uh, meeting with someone and you might meet a very pleasant person who you will have a great conversation with, who will understand you. You could also talk about a partnership and signing up some sort of contract with someone that you like and some sort of just a very nice, uh, pleasant experience. And um, what is the next advice is how to get there where you want to get in your work, in your business how to get where you want to get four of uh, cups is probably it's about um taking your opportunities you cannot get there with doing the all same things that you always kind of used to do so it might talk about uh getting out of some sort of sadness and apathy and uh, thinking that all is horrible <laughs> in this and look around, maybe there is an opportunity that you're not noticing, you know, with this card. It could be that you're missing something. Okay, and now let's pull one love attraction card and see what is advice for you. The universe knows me and the universe adores me. So this card comes when you kind of feel forgotten and you feel uh, not perfect. This card says that um, there's someone out there who actually is aware of you, sorry, who you are, and uh, they truly um, know you, the, your soul, and who you truly are, your, you know, and, and you're worth being adored. This card says you're worth being adored, you're, you're very good at things, and don't doubt yourself, you know, and, you know, that sort of situation. It wants to say that um, it's when you completely feel discouraged. So the this car comes out and it says that you're loved and adored and known. What's the most important is that universe adores you despite of all your imperfections. It adores you the way you are, hundred percent. Our deck number three, which is Asian Italian. Tarot deck. I'm sorry about the music. There was some sort of function happening. Okay, your work situation right now. What's happening? Four of uh, uh, ones. It says that everything is fine. It must be some sort of like great moment. Maybe you've achieved something just now and you're enjoying it and celebrating it. What's the biggest challenge at work? Okay, we have the Hierophant, which can be um, maybe wisdom, how to access your wisdom, how to access that inner, some sort of the maximum of what you can access, some sort of like how to help people, what to say, what not to say. Um, maybe your work is to be like in a responsible position and uh 
can sometimes mean that there is lots of traditional forces in your work that sometimes um, can be hard to maneuver through. Um, or let's say you're thinking that someone is doing wrong decisions all the time, so that sort of situation. Yeah. So yeah, let's see people, the decisions that they make and um, these relationships with people. For some of you, it can be your family. Again, you have a spouse, for example. You, it's the career and family balance that comes in the way, some sort of double responsibilities and extra tension over your family. What is the advice here? Well, with the fool, it's taking risks, it's uh, playing with it, it's not taking too seriously. Um, for some of you who have kids, it can say, don't forget your family and your kids and your pets and things. You know, um, if you don't have your family and kids, it could talk about simply not being afraid to go crazy with your ideas, not be afraid to... Uh, focus on what will make you the most happy in this work and not be afraid of dreaming and wanting things. Having ideas, expressing those ideas through risk-taking, through some sort of new activities and uh, can be maybe a public, internet, Instagram, something like that. What is advice when dealing with your boss? What is advice when dealing with your boss? Well, let's say being in a very innovati innovative and um, offering lots of ideas on how to get more money from what you're doing. So it's all about um, bringing in the money, I think, and showing that you can guarantee some sort of uh, maximum income and increase their business or something like that. And again, cars are very family-like. So, like a building something, a family, you know, not sure. Yeah, I think they just want financial growth and, you know, things like that. What is advice for you when dealing with your colleagues? Uh, friendship and love and you should be friends and be nice to each other and really... Um, be warm to each other and trust each other and support each other you know like in this case um, it talks about having a good relationship with your colleagues and you probably are having a good relationship what is advice for your clients like for you regarding the clients okay we have the high priestess so we have this card um, it can be don't share everything with the clients and tell them too much personal stuff. Um, it can be being very intuitive with your clients, telling the truth, being very wise, and using lots of common sense when dealing with them. So maybe it's that, I don't know if you're a tarot reader, be a good tarot reader. If you are um, a teacher, be a good teacher, you know, just teach them the knowledge that you have and tell them things that you have, but then share your personal stuff, maybe. So that sort of situation here, overall, talks about kindness and kind of transparency and good intuition. What is the next good thing that will happen at your work? I have the Seven of Pentacles. Well, of course, money. The money is the next good thing that will happen. Maybe a new offer a new contract and you have some sort of great project that happens and it's a good card how to get there where you want to get at your work like that maximum again it's all about um being st sticking to your goal and uh, doing some sort of good financial decisions so saving money focusing on money making it a business not just like not setting down for less you know keep increasing your financial things which you can increase be very nice and tact tactful with people be very ethical be very educated and um and basically i feel money-minded 
now what is the love attraction card towards um what is the advice for you from the love attraction deck when i'm feeling good i'm allowing allowing in good okay the way you feel is your indication of your vibrational connection to that which is your source the better you feel the better your connection the worse you feel the more disallowance to that connection nothing is more important that that you feel good because nothing is more important than your connection to that which is your source um so with this card we can say that um it's very important that you feel good about what you do and it says that your well-being is the most important thing it's important to self-motivate yourself it's important to um to use your intuition to use listen to your emotions to your feelings what are they saying uh, don't do things that you hate to do do only think only thoughts that are good for you like easy thoughts that make you feel at ease okay okay so this card might come out if you're worried about your success and whether you'll be able to achieve what you want to achieve um but it's saying that it's very important that you're happy and relaxed at this job so that the money and success will come on their own it's kind of maybe hard to kind of perceive it but it is like that so this was our reading number three please share in the comments what did you think of this reading did it resonate or didn't resonate um i appreciate every single feedback i read every single comment and sometimes it takes time but i do read and it's very very important for me so um thank you and i hope to see you again soon bye bye